Greetings everyone. In today's video, I'll share a personal story that is close to my heart. Depression? It's more than just a word. It's an abyss, a chasm that seems to swallow all hope and joy. It's a silent tormentor that lurks in the shadows of the mind, sapping the vitality out of life. I know because I've been there. I remember the days when the world was enveloped in a grey fog, days when laughter felt like a distant memory, and every breath felt like a monumental task. It was like walking through a never-ending tunnel, shrouded in darkness, with no end in sight. The world continued to spin, but I was stuck, trapped in my own mind. The vibrancy of life became a dull monotone. Food lost its taste, music lost its rhythm, and the world lost its colour, it was as if I was watching life from the other side of a glass wall, unable to participate, unable to feel. The worst part, the guilt and the shame, the constant questioning, why can't I snap out of it, why can't I just be happy? The answer I learned isn't simple. Depression isn't a choice, it's not a sign of weakness or a character flaw. It's a complex interplay of genetics, brain chemistry, personality and environmental factors. But amidst the darkness, I found glimmers of hope. Hope in the form of words spoken by loved ones, in the form of therapy sessions, in the form of small victories like getting out of bed or taking a shower. Each glimmer, no matter how small, was a step forward, a step towards the light at the end of the tunnel. Depression is a battle. It's a war waged within the confines of our minds, but it's a battle that can be won. I'm living proof of that. It's not an easy journey nor a short one. It's a journey paved with setbacks and hardships. But it's also a journey of resilience, of strength, and of hope. Depression is a battle. But remember, every battle has its victories. Scene script. Depression, a word we hear often, but what does it really mean? Depression is not simply feeling down or sad. It's a serious mental health condition that affects how we feel, think, and act. It's characterized by a persistent sense of sorrow and a loss of interest in activities previously enjoyed. This isn't a fleeting emotion or a result of a bad day. It's an overwhelming darkness that can last for weeks, months, or even years. Depression manifests differently in everyone. Some might experience a profound sense of hopelessness or worthlessness, while others might struggle with concentration or even physical symptoms like changes in appetite or sleep patterns. It's not just an emotional state, but a physical one too, affecting your total well-being. There are common misconceptions about depression that we should clear up. It's not a sign of weakness or a character flaw. Anyone can experience depression, regardless of age, gender, or socioeconomic status. It's not something that you can simply snap out of or overcome with willpower. Then there's the myth that depression is always visible. In reality, Many people with depression may appear perfectly fine on the surface. They smile, they laugh, they carry on with their daily lives. But beneath the surface, they might be fighting a silent battle. This is sometimes referred to as smiling depression. And it's a stark reminder that we can't always see someone suffering. Depression is also not synonymous with sadness. Yes, sadness is a component, but depression encompasses a wide range of emotions. Emptiness, frustration, anger, and even numbness. It's a complex tapestry of feelings that can't be encapsulated by one single emotion. And it's important to remember that depression is treatable. Many people with depression recover completely or experience significant improvements with psychotherapy, medication, or both. There's no one-size-fits-all treatment, and what works for one person might not work for another. But the key is to seek help and to keep trying. In conclusion, depression is more than just a feeling of sadness. It's a complex mental health disorder. But with understanding, compassion and the right support, it can be managed. And people can lead fulfilling, happy lives despite it. Depression is not a journey you have to walk alone. When we're engulfed in the shadows of depression, it's easy to feel isolated. But remember, there are professionals trained to guide us through these murky waters. Therapists, counsellors, and mental health professionals are like lighthouses, illuminating a path through the storm. They offer a safe space to express our feelings, fears, and thoughts. Their expertise allows them to provide us with strategies and tools tailored to our unique experiences. These individuals have dedicated their lives to understanding the complexities of the human mind, 
and they stand ready to extend a helping hand when we feel lost. They can help us unravel the knots of our thoughts, confront our fears and reclaim our lives from the clutches of depression. Therapy is a journey, a process of self-discovery and healing. It's an opportunity to learn more about ourselves and develop the resilience to face life's challenges. Remember, seeking help is not a sign of weakness, but a step towards recovery. Each journey is unique, and so are the ways we cope. As we traverse the terrain of mental health, finding the coping mechanisms that resonate with us becomes an integral part of the healing process. When I was in the depths of my despair, I found solace in things that allowed me to express myself. For me, it was art. The act of creating something, of immersing myself in colors and shapes, provided a much needed escape from the heaviness that depression often brings. I could pour my emotions onto the canvas and in doing so I found a way to articulate what I was feeling when words failed me. But art is just one form of self-expression. For others, it may be writing, music, dance or any other creative outlet. The key is to find a medium that allows you to channel your emotions constructively. Another coping mechanism that was instrumental in my journey was mindfulness. By learning to focus on the present moment, I found a way to quiet the tumultuous thoughts that often clouded my mind. Mindfulness is not about ignoring your thoughts or feelings, but rather, it's about observing them without judgment. It's about creating a space where you can breathe, even if it's just for a brief moment. On a professional level, cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, played a significant role in my recovery. CBT helps you to identify and challenge negative thought patterns, enabling you to develop healthier coping strategies. Of course, what works for one person might not work for another. It's important to explore different therapies under the guidance of a mental health professional to find what's most effective for you. Remember, coping mechanisms are not about eliminating pain or fast-tracking recovery. They're about equipping you with tools to navigate the rough seas of depression. They're about finding moments of relief, of understanding, of self-expression amidst the storm. And sometimes they're about finding a beacon of light when everything else seems cloaked in darkness. Finding what works for you is a journey in itself, but it's a journey worth taking. In our darkest moments, connection can be a beacon of hope. This is a truth I've experienced firsthand. In my journey through depression, I discovered the power of community, of shared experiences, and the strength that comes from knowing we are not alone in our struggles. The world can feel like a vast, isolated place when we are navigating the murky waters of mental health challenges. But in reaching out, we find that there are others who have walked similar paths, faced similar battles, and have stories of resilience to share. Building a supportive community, both online and offline, can become a lifeline. This community is a safe space where we can share our experiences, find solace in shared stories, draw strength from each other. It's a place where we can be open, vulnerable, and authentically ourselves without fear of judgment. You're not alone in this. Reach out, connect, and find strength in shared experiences. Depression is a battle, but it's a battle we can face together. It's a journey that demands courage, resilience, and above all, connection. Connection with our own feelings, connection with professional help, and connection with others who can offer support and understanding. Yet it's essential to remember that connection is a two-way street. It's not just about reaching out for help, but also about extending our hand to others. Each of us has a role to play in this grand tapestry of human experience. We can be the beacon of hope for someone lost in the darkness, just as they can be for us. So consider this a call to action, a call to break the silence surrounding mental health, a call to eliminate the stigma that often shrouds depression. Because it's only through open dialogue, understanding and compassion that we can change the narrative around mental health. Sharing this video is a simple yet powerful way to contribute to this change. Each share can reach someone who might be struggling in silence, reminding them that they are not alone. Each share can educate someone about the realities of depression, fostering understanding and empathy. Each share is a step towards a world where mental health is discussed as openly as physical health but don't just stop at sharing. Engage in conversations about mental health. Listen to the experiences of others without judgment. Offer support to those who are struggling. And if you're the one in need, don't hesitate to reach out. As we've discussed, 
Seeking help is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to your strength. And above all, remember to be kind, both to yourself and others. Because at the end of the day, we're all in this together. We're all navigating through the complexities of life, carrying our own burdens, fighting our own battles. And sometimes, a little kindness can make a world of difference. Thank you for being a part of this conversation. Share this video, spread the word, and remember, it's okay to ask for help.